Hey guys, in this video we are going to implement an HTTP client in Kotlin with Ktor. For this we need three things. First, we need an HTTP endpoint for our requests. Second, we are going to set up a project in IntelliJ with Ktor. And thirdly, we are going to write the code for the request. So let's start with the HTTP endpoint. On GitHub, I found this Geek Jokes API. If we scroll down a bit, we see that we have to make a GET request to this endpoint to get a geeky joke. So let's try it out in the browser. And as you can see, we get back a JSON with a single field joke containing a string with the actual joke. So that's it for the HTTP endpoint. Let's have a look at IntelliJ and set up a new project. We click new project. Then on the left hand side here, we select Kotlin. We give it a name, we call it jokes client. Here you can specify a location, for me that's fine. Um, we select console application here. Then as the build system, I'm going to select Gradle Kotlin, but you can also use Gradle Groovy. And for the project SDK, I'm going to use uh, this JetBrains runtime 11. And then we can hit next down here. Um, the target JVM version is fine with 1.8 and we won't write any tests, so we can select none as the test framework. Now we can hit finish and IntelliJ will create a new project and do some Gradle builds. This is the landing page of the Kato website. You can see it's uh, simple and fun. It's implemented with Kotlin coroutines and it's lightweight and flexible. And uh, importantly, it's uh, built and backed by JetBrains, so it should be easy to set up in IntelliJ. So let's jump into the docs. And here we want to select client and then developing applications and in here setting up a client. Now here in client overview, you can see we need two dependencies. Uh, first, a client dependency containing the core functionality for the client. It's this Ktor client core. And then an engine dependency for an engine that uh, processes the network requests. So let's scrap them and paste them in our build.gradle.kts in dependencies. So we create dependencies here. And in here we can paste this uh, dependency and also the one for the HTTP engine. Now in the documentation, you can see here also JSON. And as we get back JSON from our API, let's have a look at that. And here you can see we have three options. We can use JSON, Jackson, or Kotlin X serialization. And as we are true Kotlin enthusiasts, we are of course going to use Kotlin X serialization. For that, we have to add the Kotlin serialization compiler plugin. And we can see here how that works. Um, so here with Kotlin DSL, we can just grab this compiler plugin and paste it in here. And now when we switch back to the Kato documentation, you can see we also have to add the dependency for the Kato client serialization. So we are going to paste it in here as well. Now you can see we still have this Kato version variable here, which we didn't initialize yet. Um, so let's have a look. Um, 1.6.7 is the latest stable version of Ktor. So let's create a new variable here for the Ktor version. And it's 1.6.7. Now we can load the script configuration. Now with that finished, we can also load Gradle changes. And now everything is set up for our last step, writing the code for the actual HTTP request. So let's close this. And in the main file, we can just uh, remove that and create a new main function. And in here, we can now create our HTTP client and make the HTTP request. But before that, we need a data model for our JSON that we get back so that Kotlin X serialization can deserialize the string into a data class. So we type data class and we call it joke. And uh, similar to the JSON, it just has a single field called joke containing a string with the actual joke. Now for Kotlin X serialization to work, we also have to add the serializable annotation. And now we can create our client. And in here we pass the engine, so CIO. Uh, now let's check back to the documentation to see how we can set up Kotlin X serialization to serialize and deserialize JSON. If we scroll down a bit, we can see that here we can use uh, Kotlin DSL to install a JSON feature. And to configure a serializer, we just assign Kotlin X serializer to the serializer property. So let's do that. Let's open up curly braces. 
Then we type install and JSON feature. And now in here, we assign Kotlin X serializer to the serializer property. And now our HTTP client is set up and we can make a get request. Now let's create a variable for our joke that we get back from our get request. And we type client.get and we use this one with a URL string. And in here we put the HTTP endpoints URL Now you can see we still get an error here and this is because this get function is a suspend function and suspend functions can only be called from other suspend functions. So we can make main a suspend function as well. And now we can print our joke to the command line. And we can test our client by executing the main function. And as you can see down here, we get back a geeky joke from our API and everything works out. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give me a like. And if you want to see more hands-on software engineering tutorials, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.